right, hello YouTube. Today I'm coming to you live with a video for Star Rail. We officially have had the uh, Jeep pocketing for Fugue about three days ago. I'm late to the party, I'm very sorry. But we are here. And uh, obviously Fugue is the name of the five star version of Tinian. So uh, let's start with the little text up here. It says extraterrestrial satellite communication, hashtag Fugue. Benefactor, though the cosmos stretches far and wide and the stars fill the sky, as long as we hold each other in our thoughts, there will always be our chance for reunion. A tactful function girl whose appearance, name and identity have all been stolen, the fate have left her a thread of chance at survival, yet the brand of destruction still rises with anticipation. The one in the fugue who has experienced life and death and is given a new life, when would she be able to return home? Very interesting. So obviously, they're talking here about the fact that her... Everything about her has been stolen. That's in reference to the fact that Ting Yun was... The Ting Yun we met was never the actual Ting Yun. Uh, it was always Fantilia. And uh, here we can see that she's looking absolutely fantastic. We can see the mirror, well, the water surface here. And we see Ting Yun on the right side and Fugue on the left side. She has the nine tails, which I'm absolutely in love. I absolutely love this. Her outfit is so freaking pretty. I love the kuno, the long sleeve with the flowers. It's so intricate. It's so pretty. I love her so much. I will die for her. 100%. Um, so people were like, oh, she got her neck broken, blah, blah, blah. That was not the real Ting Yun. I assume that what happened is that, um, Fantilia of the Destruction, right, probably found her and, like, kind of stole everything from her, like her memories and stuff. I assume there's something like that that happened. Um, and then under the guise of Ting Yun, she went to the Luofu, right? So now Fugue is kind of back. She was found by Ruan Mei. And um, the thing that's very interesting here is the name Fugue, obviously. Uh, the reason why this is interesting, in my opinion, is that a Fugue, being in a state of Fugue, and l let me, let me, let me use, you know, the, the internet. Psychiatry for Fugue. A loss of awareness of one's identity, often coupled with flight from one's usual environment, associated with certain form of hysteria and epilepsy. So the first part is the most important one, a loss of awareness of one's identity, right? So this means that obviously this fits perfectly for her because her identity was stolen by Fantilia, right? So it fits so well for her. Also, I've seen some comments about the fact that the, the word, how it's used in Chinese, um, the name Fugue or whatever it is in Chinese, right? Um, actually means something like about coming back to life or like resurrecting or finding a second life essentially, right? So it fits both in the state of like being in a state of fugue, of like losing your sense of self, but as well refining yourself, um, which I thought was really, really cool, very poetic as well. So I personally absolutely love her. She has some nice like little heels here. I think the outfit is so freaking beautiful with all the flower motifs. Uh, very interestingly here is that those I believe, if they're, even though they're golden, I think this is a spider lily. Uh, spider lilies have some very um, strong uh, connotations and very powerful sense in the like language of flower and stuff. It's... Uh, it's not necessarily. Wait, let, let me see. M maybe I'm, I'm, maybe I'm yapping for no reason. Meaning, let's see. The red spider leaves often linked with sad memories, such as last goodbyes or the death of a loved one. There it is. Okay, I am not crazy. <laughs> Thank God, I'm still not crazy. My anime knowledge is coming back to help me out. So there it is. So obviously, the sense of loss, losing who she was, etc., etc. But. Obviously, I think these look like spider lilies, what she has on her, but maybe it's another type of flower. I'm not entirely sure. Obviously, it's not red here, but there's a bit of red here in the middle, so is it? Is it not? Maybe I'm just crazy. Who knows? Now, moving on from the design and what we know from the text in there, and we have her type, uh, elemental damage as well as path, and she is going to be a fire character, five star, of the Nihility path. That's very interesting. So, 
what has me um the thing is i really don't see her being a dot character you know i just don't see her being a dot character i feel like it wouldn't i don't know i don't know if we look at what direction the game has been going for i feel like there's basically three options right either she's gonna be a dot character because that's very often what nihility are or she's gonna be a straight up debuffer kind of like uh, Zhu Xiao, but I feel like we just got him, right? The cook guy. So I feel like there's no way they're both gonna have a similar role when they're both fire nihility, right? There's no way they're doing that. Um, so that's either debuff, nihility debuff, which feels kind of weird. I mean, obviously she's gonna have some form of debuff, but not like a, a defense shred, right? Then we have nihility dot, which I think dots are kind of necessary. It's been a long time since we haven't had a proper dot character, right? Uh, the last one has been Black Swan, which is, I mean, a few patches ago already. Um, and I feel like dot is kind of having a rough time. Um, it's still pretty good, don't, don't get me wrong, but uh, I feel like a new character to reinforce that playstyle could be very good. She could be it. I have my doubts in that regard, um, I don't know why, it's just a hunch. I feel she's probably not gonna be Dot. I don't think she's gonna be a replacement to Zhao Shuo. And so, what do we have left? Now, if we look at the game and the state of the game and what they are, what kind of trend they're going for, they're going for Super Break and they are going for Summons, right? Those are the two quote-unquote trend that we might be seeing. Super Break, obviously, so many characters with Super Break, so many below, so many new relics that work with break effects, etc., etc. And summons, we have a few characters with summon. Obviously, uh, the last one was Lingsha. There's been a new set that were specifically with summons. Is she gonna have summons? Honestly, I don't think so because there is nothing that screams summons in the trip marketing, right? Um, when we saw Lingsha, she had the rabbits, all the other characters that tend to have summon. Generally, there is an indication for that in their drip marketing. Maybe they're saying they're keeping it hidden. Maybe she can summon some foxes. Maybe she can use like each of her tail can separate and become a full fox or something like that. That's possible. I don't know what's going on with the nine tails. Uh, but I have kind of my doubts. So what I'm thinking, because by process of elimination, I'm feeling like she's probably going to be a super break character. I feel like she could probably feel a role similar to either a quote-unquote offensive Ruan Mei, or she's going to be a super break buffer like the Harmony MC but on the more offensive fashion, right? Because Harmony characters buff the team, Nihility characters debuff the enemies, right? So what I'm thinking is that maybe she places debuff on the enemies that makes it so when you attack them, they get hit by Super Break, right? So I feel like she's probably gonna have that kind of ability. Now, what exactly kind of Super Break she's gonna have? I feel like she could maybe increase the amount of Super Break damage your enemy takes, or maybe, yeah, maybe she could just make it so enemies take a another instance of Super Break, right? Because right now we don't have a lot of characters that actually create Super Break. We either have some DPS that have Super Break implemented in their kits, or we have the Harmony MC that gives Super Break to the team. So I think it's about time we get to get a character that's going to allow the team to have Super Break. So I think what she's gonna do is place debuff on the enemy team, like with the ultimate or something. And once the debuff is on the enemy, every instance of attack on an enemy that is weakness broken is gonna be Super Break. Now, the disadvantage with this kind of debuff is that if there is a new wave of enemy, the enemies won't have the debuff anymore. So the question becomes, is that debuff going to be transferable? We've had that before, right? Uh, Acheron's petals get transferred when the target gets killed. Um, we have some amount of transfer with Black Swan and stuff like that. So it would be really, really nice if that was the case, because otherwise I feel like she's going to struggle a bit 
unless she has another way to reapply the super break debuff on the enemies, right? But if she has that kind of debuff with super break, I think that could be very interesting, especially if it stacks with other instances of super break. Because imagine a team with Fugue, with Harmony MC, and with, you know, Firefly. So you have Super Break from Firefly, Super Break from Harmony MC, Super Break from Fugue. That's three separate instances of Super Break. That would be absolutely bonkers. So I think this is probably the direction they're gonna go with. I don't know, this is just my hunch and the way I see it from a process of elimination. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this is what you believe she's gonna have or if you have other ideas in the comment down below. I'm very curious about your thoughts. And I'll see you very soon. Like, subscribe, all the good, good. And you can catch me on twitch.tv forward slash kitty Bye!